is right down the sprinkler line. From about 100 yards. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Uh, this player's dialed in. What a shot. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Leading by five shots after that. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? This one looks to be heading down the runway. Uh, Rich, I might have to put in my apologies there. Yeah, I kind of think you need to. That is really in an awful spot. Playing their fourth shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, guys, they're in the deep stuff here. And they did get a favorable lie considering the situation. Let's see what happens. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. A wonderful shot here at the seventh and sets up another birdie chance. This one started out on a good line. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. I like it. Two in a row. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. <laughs> Going with the five wood. Well, got some sort of streak going on here. Green's in regulation. What a statistic. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens in regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Just three feet to the cup. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. This is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. This tournament's coming alive. I wonder what just went down. And this effort by Gary Woodland was just a little while ago. Well, TPC Summerlin is in Las Vegas, Rich, so why not have a gamble here at nine and go for the green in two? If you're not gambling here on the ninth, then shame on you. You should feast on birdies and eagles on this very reachable par five. Even the shorter hitters can knock it on with no sweat whatsoever. Yeah, well, it might not be on the green, but it's right up near the surface. And here we are with the third shot. There's part of about six feet coming up. A 
Oh, what a stroke. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. It's a lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine to play. Could be some trying times indeed. Tough holes lay ahead, but yes, you're in the position that you want to be ahead of the pack. It looked like it came out of a cannon. Looks to me, Rich, that this player has a ton of confidence. Put themselves right back in position to win straight off their last start. They're going to have to make some birdies coming down the closing stretch, but they have a lot of good vibes coming from that last win. I expect more of the same this week. That's on the green, and you never know what could happen. Well, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? It's got to be over, over 40 feet, maybe 41 feet to the cup from here. feet to go here to the hole job done let's head to the next and sits in first position you've reached the 11th hole and the tee is yours some good golf right there John what's going on talk to us goose well, down on the 15th hole and this is a look at Gary Woodland that's certainly a shot saver there rich saving a stroke there by chipping in for the bogey lining up from around 160 yards they need to flight this one down into the wind. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. And that's an impressive little chip. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And he needs this to save par. Okay, let's head to the next. Now, five shots up after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. That should find the cut stuff. Yeah, man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, guys, I'm down here on the 14th. This is Sergio Garcia. And back to the course with the live action. Known as El Nino, he can be a firebrand, our Sergio Garcia, Rich. But geez, exciting to watch when he's on. He's been so good for so long, Luke, that I never tire of watching him play the game. I think he plays it with a passion. Yeah. Unlike most players in the game right now, sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. But overall, his body of work throughout his career has been simply amazing. Getting ready to play their third.
left outside 10 feet to the hole here, right on 11 feet to be exact. That's the cardinal sin, leaving it short in the heart. This is, I can't believe what I just saw there. It seems surreal. This is crazy. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Currently 11 under par for the event. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Not bad. The interesting choice of the driver here. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? And here we are with the third shot. Well, yeah. oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. And that's their fourth booty of the day. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. And coming off the booty, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. A wonderful shot into 14. It sets up another look at birdie. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. Good looking putt. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. John, what's going on out there? Well, guys, over on the 18th hole now, this is Gary Woodland's next shot. Uh, this putt coming up is for triple bogey. Oh, just missed. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Our leader is up by four shots now. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? Well, it's heading for the fairway. Second shot here on the 15th. <laughs> Nicely done. 
A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Looks good off the blade. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. A nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Still in the lead now after that hole. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Bit disappointing that one. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? I'm over on the final hole, and Sergio Garcia sets up his next shot. The 16th hole at TPC Summerlin is the final par five on the course, Rich, and one the players can reach in two. Obviously, no hope leaving it short with your second shot in the water at 16, so most players bailing out, hitting it just over this green. If they draw a decent lie, they can chip it close, make birdie. However, not so easy, and there's a couple of low areas and greenside bunkers to deal with long of this green. That's a smart option. Back into the family. Coming off a string of three birdies. shot from the leader but in for birdie oh what a round this is seven birdies today leading by five shots after that two holes to go luke can they hang on let's find out teeing off here on the 17th hole Going with the five iron here. And that one's headed to the drink. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Well, they lucked out here. I mean, they did get into some deep rough, but the lie ended up being not too, too bad. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Looking better. It was on a good line. Oh, dear. This next putt now for double bogey. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. And a chance to ice the tournament here, holding the lead, playing the last. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. What a wonderful play, leading with intent. A lot better than yesterday, thankfully. Now let's watch and see what they can do from here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. And this putt for the tournament. Looking really good, this one. Oh, so close. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Our winner of the Shrine is prosperous for Children Open. It's been to say they were money this week. They were definite money this week. Lots of players had a chance coming down the stretch, but only one of them rolled the dice.
and came up spades in their win. And Rich, what a performance. They've got back-to-back -back wins. What a force they're proving to be out here on tour. I got to say, this player is in full flight at the moment. Just sit back and watch how awesome they are at the moment. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.